Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game of Mikal Tal, the greatest attacking grandmaster. This is a game from Chess Olympiad that was played in Bulgaria in 1962. If you enjoy watching these kind of games and you wish to improve your middle game, I highly recommend that you click on the link below the video and download your free, totally free, chess video, which will help you to improve your middle game. Ok, let's have a look at this fantastic chess game between Mikkel Thal and Hans Hecht. I hope that you will enjoy it. Mikkel Thal had white pieces and he started with d4. Hans Hecht played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to f3, b6, knight to c3, bishop to b4, an so Indian defense, bishop to g5, bishop to b7, e3, h6, attacking the bishop, bishop to h4, bishop takes on c3 check, pawn takes bishop, d6, knight to d2, e5, f3, queen to e7, e4, knight from b to d7, bishop to d3, knight to f8, c5, d takes on c5, d takes on e5, queen takes on e5, white to move. Mikkel Tal played queen to a4 check, and Hans Hecht played c6. A year later, in the game Garcia O'Kelly, player with the black pieces played knight on 6 to d7, and even managed to win the game. Of course, he was not playing against Tal. c6, but this is blocking his own bishop. Mikkel Tal castled kingside at the g6, attacking the bishop. What is the best clear for the bishop? Instead of moving the bishop to a safe spot, Tal played knight to c4, attacking the queen. Queen to e6, e5, but now b5, and the three of the white pieces are under attack. Which piece to save? Of course, saving queen should be the first priority. Well, to most players. But there was a surprise of epic proportions. Mikkel Tal did not move the queen. He played pawn takes knight. This is an incredible move. Unbelievable. Black to move. B takes on a4. Who can resist this move? Well, if castling, queen goes to a safe spot, and if knight takes on h4, f takes on g7, and after king takes on g7, rook from a to e1, queen, let's say queen moves to f6, then knight to a5, and white is better. Back to our game. Pawn takes, the queen was played. f takes on g7, attacking the rook. Rook to g8. Why to move? What now? Mikkel Tal played a move which gave black lots of options. Too many options. And that is bishop to f5. All these options take time to consider, to analyze. Hecht played knight takes on h4 after thinking long and hard. What else can black do? If queen takes on f5, one line goes like this. Knight to d6 check, winning the queen. After king goes to d7, knight takes on f5, and after knight takes bishop, knight takes knight. What else can black play? If queen takes knight on c4, preventing that nasty fork, then rook from f to e1 check. And where is the king going? Perhaps... Black must play queen to e6, then rook takes on e6, check, f takes on e6, bishop takes on g6, check, king to d7, rook to d1, check, king to c8. There is more than one way to continue. Perhaps bishop to f6 is the strongest, 
and after bishop to a6, bishop to f7 attack, and rook, rook takes on g7, bishop takes on g7, white is winning. Seeing all this, hacked decided to chop the bishop on h4, bishop takes queen on a6, bishop to a6, removing the target. If f takes on a6, the knight to d6 check means the bishop on b7. Bishop to a6, knight to d6 check, king to e7, which piece to save? Bishop to c4 was played. Rook takes on g7. If king takes on d6, then rook from a to d1 check, and after king to c7, bishop takes on a6. Back to our game. Rook takes on g7 was played. The threat is rook takes on g2, g3, king takes on d6, bishop takes bishop on a6, knight to f5, rook from a to b1, f6, preventing invasion on the 7th rank, rook from f to d1, check, king to e7, rook to e1, check, king to d6, king to f2, c4, creating a square for the king, g4, if bishop takes on c4, king to c5. So Mikkel Tal played g4, attacking the knight, knight to e7, and this is what Tal was waiting for, he can now invade the 7th rank, rook to b7, pinning the knight, rook from a to g8, Bishop takes on c4, attacking the rook. Knight to d5. Bishop takes on d5. C takes on d5. If king takes on d5, rook to b4. C takes on d5. Rook to b4. Rook to c8. Rook takes on a4. Rook takes on c3. This is a rook end game now. Rook to a6, check. King to c5. Rook takes on f6, Tal is a pawn up, h5, h3, h takes on g4, h takes on g4, rook to h7, white to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Mikhail Tal followed the general rule, pass pawn must be pushed, g5, this is now a dangerous pass pawn. Rook to h5, rook to f5, defending the pawn on g file and pinning the pawn on d file. Rook to c2, check, king to g3, king to c4. Hecht is intending to push his own pass pawn as far as it can go, maybe even to d1. Rook from e to e5, d4, g6 getting closer to promoting square. Rook to h1. Why to move? What would you do? Should Tal push the pawn to g7 or not? Would you? Rook to c5 check was played. g7 would be a blunder. After rook to g1 check, king to f4, rook takes on g7 and black is better. Back to our game. Rook to c5 check by Tal, king to d3, rook takes rook, king takes rook, king to f4, rook to g1, white play the move and black resigned and the move is, what would you do? The move is rook to g5, hacked resigned in view of this continuation. This is an amazing continuation. Rook takes on g5. King takes on g5, d3, g7, d2, pawn is pushed and promoted to queen, so is black pawn, and now how do white wins now? Queen to b3 check, and after king moves, queen takes queen, king takes queen, but now f4, and the pawn will promote to a queen. This is an amazing game, isn't it? mind-boggling game.
What do you think of this game? I have a gift for you. Please click on the link below the video and download the free video. It is all about mastering the middle game. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.